welcome to the University Cable Network's first episode of UCN News. I'm Kyle Wiebers, and here's the headlines for today. We will see what some ambitious digital media students are up to and how they plan to break a world record. We'll check in with the dance team and see what big event they have coming up. Thirdly, we'll talk about this semester's internship showcase. And finally, we have a special guest interview with BVU's own Disney connoisseur, Chase Harrison. Today, we start today's newscast with one of the most notable newscasters of our time. Al Roker is kicking off his third installment of Rokerthon, and this time he's trekking across the country to find college campuses that want to break a world record. Oh. Hey, For uh, BVU digital media students, Morgan McGrew, go. Chris Haberman, Spencer Bodorf, and Cooper Moss heard Ro Roker's call to action and set out to make a video showing Al just why BV is the place for him to come and break a world record. This group of students thought long and hard about what, would, what world record they would want to break. Eventually, they settled on one of BV students' favorite campus pastimes, lawn golf. Setting out to break the world record for the most lawn golfers playing simultaneously, this group of digital media students used their video skills to show off our beautiful campus, all while tying it back to lawn golf. While the competition will be tough against schools who have bigger student bodies, the four digital media students feel confident that their creative video will set them apart from other entrants. Everyone. If you'd like to watch BVU's Rokerthon video submission is now available on UCN's YouTube channel. The digital media students aren't the only ones doing great new things this week. The BVU dance team will be traveling to Des Moines this week to perform at halftime of an Iowa Energy basketball game. We go now to UCN News reporter Spencer Bodorf as he met and spoke with the dance team about their upcoming performance. The BV dance team has performed at numerous events around BV as well as state level competitions. But this Thursday, they have a special honor to perform at an even bigger venue. So Iowa Energy reached out to us through email and they emailed us and gave us the opportunity to dance at one of their games. So we decided to pick a date and we are dancing Thursday the 23rd of February and we are all very excited to do it. The change of venue has the team going above and beyond to prepare for their performance. Extra time was needed to be at the top of their game. For the Iowa Energy Game Performance, we had to do a lot of little special preparations. Um, one being that we had to make up a routine and we made that up ourselves. And then to get audience experience, we performed at a basketball game. And then we also at least practiced twice a week just to get more, uh, make the routine more perfect. Leading up to the performance, senior Janice Timmerman looks back at how the dance team has grown over the four years. Our opportunities at, um, here at BV with the dance team have grown since I was a freshman. Um, we have taken more routines to state since I started. We branched out into jazz and hip hop and contemporary. In just the last year, we have performed at our first home football game. We hosted a little kids clinic. We danced at a wrestling meet. Um, we continue doing basketball games, so we always do. And then now we're going to the Iowa Energy game. So uh, look for more to come with BBDT. Reporting for UCN News, this is Spencer Bodorf. If you're interested in getting involved with BVU's dance team, contact Janice Timmerman. An evening full of celebrating students' accomplishments in their various internships they have completed here at BV was held the other night here on campus. More now on this story. The Buena Vista University Internship Showcase is an annual event held in Dow's Conference Center. Students are given the opportunity to share their experiences of their recent, recently completed internships. Presenting students will explain their roles and overall experiences at their internships and talk about the application and interviewing process they went through. This is a great opportunity for students to begin thinking ahead and start the process of looking and applying for internships. If you have any questions about the internships or need help creating a resume or cover letter, contact Lori Berglund at the Career Services Office. Our guest on UCN News this week is Chase Harrison, and Chase is someone that is no stranger to the world of internships. How are you doing today, Chase? Very good to be here, sir. Good. Uh, so tell the audience a little bit about yourself. Hello, I'm Chase Harris. I'm a music production and technology major here at BVU. And I think my two biggest loves in this whole world are Disney and music. And I've had the opportunity to do internships involving both of those as, at, during my time here at BVU. Awesome. So <laughs> I actually heard that you just accepted another internship with the Disney College program, yep. making it three in total for you. That's my second, actually. Your second one? Second okay. One. okay. Yep. Yep. Um, so what keeps you going back? What keeps you going back to Disney? What keeps me going back is I just really love 
the whole experience of working at Disney. It's something that I've wanted to do my whole life, and it's uh, really something that I feel like my whole life is kind of built up to, all this, all this interest and stuff that I've had in Disney just kind of is accumulated up to this moment, and it's... Uh, and, it, and I felt that high, and I want to go back to feeling that high, and it felt it's a wonderful place to work. Awesome. Yeah. So um, are you hoping that this time maybe the internship might turn into an opportunity for employment? That's what I'm hoping. Um, I'm very excited to be returning to the entertainment department of the resort, and in that department there's they, they, it sort of shares its managers and stuff with entertainment tech, which is helping to run the shows of the that all the entertainment stuff that takes place in the resort that aren't actually rides. So I'm looking forward to getting back into doing that. And once I'm once I'm there, I will hopefully be able to uh, work my way into a position in entertainment tech. Great. Yep. Um, so in your previous internship there down at Disney, what, what was your responsibilities? Tell me a little bit about what you did. I was what's called a character attendant. Okay. So what that means is it's, it's sort of I walk around with the mini performer character performers in the parks make sure that they are they look good make sure they're kept safe um, ma moderate their interaction with the guests of the resort and that's really the most important part is making sure that guests have a positive uh, enlightening uh, really uh, good experience and, if, and in addition to maintaining all of the other things that we try to maintain at Disney um, that that's that's my goal as when as a cast member awesome so um I know you yes. uh, as, as a friend. Uh, mm -hmm. We work together mm -hmm. at the radio station, and yep. I know that you have this incredible knack for recreating the character signatures yes. that you see here at the park. How, mm -hmm. how did that come about? So when, when, you do the, when you do like these 10 hour shifts with one you and one character all day long, you end up watching them write their signature in a, in a million autograph books. And, it be, and it's sort of the thing, if you just watch it so many times, you just start to pick up on it. It's just inevitable. So that's something I sort of started doing when I was Kind of homesick when I got back from Disney, and I just and I've sort of it's sort of developed into all over my suite. There are little papers with all sorts of little signatures all over it. That's really cool. Yeah, it's fun. Uh, so we're sitting here in snowy Iowa mm -hmm. right now, uh, feeling miserable about oh, this because. weather. Uh, what most do you do you miss most about working well, at Disney? The weather definitely. I also really miss. Uh, being being just like down the road from my happy place from the place that makes me happiest so it's it's always it was always really nice when i could just jump on a bus and be at the magic kingdom in 20 minutes and just walk in with no with no issue it was that that's something i really miss i'm looking forward to getting back to awesome. big time uh, what was your favorite character to work with? I know there's, well, you talked that you worked with a variety yeah. of different characters. Which one was your favorite? Well, I had a, I have a couple. The main, like my my two my two absolute favorites are probably Buzz and Woody from Toy Story. Okay. Um, they always were. Uh, they always were tons of fun to work with, and they'd get into little arguments every now and then about about who Andy liked more. <laughs> and so there was, it would always accumulate with like Woody would go over and like st like there was a be Buzz bedspread on the floor and and of the of the meet and greet, and Woody would go over and stamp on Buzz's <laughs> face and be like, the <laughs> they'd always they would, it would always be fun. They but it was all in, it, would, it was always a cool experience. Mm -hmm. But my I think my absolute favorite like just single character was Sadness from Inside Out okay. because it's she's different from any of the other characters in the whole in all of Walt Disney World because she's kind of a little bit more down but she also can it's fun to ch help cheer her up too mm -hmm. because you can you can hug her and cheer her up and it's always a it's a, it's always a fun experience and also she kind of reminds me a little bit of some of my friends so it's always a cool experience to get to meet her and work with her that's awesome what uh, this might be a, a difficult question for yeah. you. What character do you think you relate to the most of that, all the ones that you worked on? Hmm, of all that I ever worked with, I think I'd have to go with Mickey probably okay. because he's just endlessly enthusiastic, always wanting to go, always wanting to help out, always wanting to do something for the for for the for the for all of his friends and people around him, and it's always I feel that a lot when I'm when I'm there, and that's it's cool. I like love and that's Mickey's Mickey's one another one of my favorite characters to work with as well. I feel like that's a good goal for mm -hmm. all of us. Exactly. Is try to help everybody. You like out. Mickey? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, Thanks so much for being good, on today, Chase. To um, if students want to get involved with the Disney College program, how can they do that? So next application season is going to open up on, yeah, I believe this uh, August is when they're going to start accepting applications for next spring so for next january you'd move down so that so it's a really uh intense application process it's so it's vital that you 
get that so it's vital to just sort of be very dedicated and know exactly what you're going to do uh, and and but if you do enough research if you love Disney as much as you truly do to want to sell your life to Walt Disney World for six months then that'll come through in your application process and you'll be able, you'll be a shoe in great yep. thanks again Chase for being on yep that's all the time we have for today if you have any suggestions of stories that you think we should cover for our next show go ahead and tweet us at UCN studios using the hashtag UCN news for all of us here at UCN, we thank you for joining us and we'll see you next time. I'm Kyle Webers and you've been watching UCN News.